Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you watched last week's video, you know I'm doing a little series that takes you through the entire creation process, starting from the initial just inspiration to pick up your pencil. If you haven't seen the first video in this little mini series, I would recommend going and watching that one first because I am including you guys in the creation of a finished piece. Not, not this piece, but another piece because I'm still gathering information from you at this time. So if you want to help out on submitting thoughts, ideas, words, suggestions to inspire a piece, jump over to that video and I'll have it linked at the end of this video or in the description box below. But the reason I am recording this video is last night as I was working, I had inspiration for a piece, but it wasn't super clear in my mind. Like the inspiration hadn't fully formed into an idea, which I'm going to talk in a separate video about how to get from inspiration to an idea. This video is about what happens when you're stuck in the middle. This one here I wanted to do a little fun and I thought why can't deer be unicorns? So I thought I want to make a little fun unicorn but I wasn't exactly sure the style or how I wanted to look. Did I want to have really dark colors? Did I want to have really faint colors? So this is where I would like to introduce you to an art word that um, if you're an artist you may already know this word but maybe it's new to you and that is whip. Work in progress. Whip is anything from the start of inspiration to a completed piece. It's it's the work in progress. A lot of times as artists we want to hide these away and we don't want to show people the the part of the piece that's not worked out. Don't be afraid of a work in progress. When I was teaching art classes to kids they were always so nervous about sharing with the class their work because what if it wasn't as good as the other students in the class and it didn't look exactly like mine. When I introduced the term whip and I said if you're if you're not done or you're not completely satisfied with your work you know you're still learning just tell someone it's a whip and they'll understand. It changed everything in my class setting. There wasn't a single kid who was intimidated at that point of sharing their work. In fact, they were proud to call it a whip. So when I would do a group share and we'd all hold up our drawings so everyone could see, all the kids were shouting out, whip, 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 which I mean, kind of sounded weird, but if you know what it means, it's, it's yeah. Anyway, it was so freeing to that class of kids. The concept that you can share your work and label it as a work in progress so that people know it's not done was so freeing to my students that I really wanted to share that with you guys as well. Don't be afraid to share your artwork with other people in the process. It may turn out totally different. This little unicorn fawn may never get past this initial sketch up. I'm just doing a really quick rough draft of it kind of playing with some ideas. I'm learning, I'm making mistakes, realizing what doesn't work, what does work, so that if I decide to move on to a finished piece, I can fix those. I'm really happy with how it turned out, but if someone asks me, is this a finished piece? Well, no, it's not. It's a whip. If you're someone who wants to make art as a living, showing and sharing your whips or works in progress is a great way to judge how they are communicating with your audience. On my Instagram page, I share a ton of just sketches and ideas and half finished pieces because I'm really curious to see if it's connecting with you the way it's connecting with me. I can really tell by the feedback on a certain piece if people are tracking with it or if it's like, yeah, okay. Some pieces I do, I'm really excited about, but no one else really is. It's a great way to just test the waters artistically. Not to say that creating art isn't about creating what you like to create, but if you're trying to create art for the community as a job, it does help. As we move through this little mini series of creating a piece from start to finish, I hope you guys are encouraged to share your own whips with us. If you're brand new to my channel, hit that subscribe button because this is going to be a fun series. You guys have given me so many amazing 
inspirational ideas. That's why I decided to just pull it out just a little bit longer and redirect everyone who watches this video to go over to this video right here, the very first one in the series. It's going to be hard to choose just one idea for my finished piece, but I will do it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. And as always, God bless you guys. Keep being creative. Be brave. Share your artwork. And until the next video, keep arting. That was a different ending. Hmm. I'm being so creative.